Cells are the building blocks of life. Everything alive on Earth that we've studied has them. The average human has around 40 trillion different cells in their body alone. While we've studied cells for 450 years, scientists are actually still debating exactly how they communicate and coordinate their activity. There are many different types of cells, from blood cells to fat cells to sex cells. So it's pretty crazy that until recently, we weren't exactly sure how they worked together. There's a new study that has just come out of Scotland and interestingly, we might have more in common with the Terminator than anyone ever thought. It's bloody science. The term quantum biology may sound like science fiction, but it's actually very real. The emerging science combines quantum mechanics with theoretical chemistry to explain biological phenomena. Recent research from Caltech, for example, found that quantum processes are responsible for activities like cell respiration and plant photosynthesis. Without quantum physics, everything that's ever been alive on Earth wouldn't have been able to convert energy fast enough to grow. Now, scientists' understanding of how quantum physics and biology intersect is still very much a work in progress. They've long understood that cells communicate by using signaling molecules, like calcium ions, to work together for things like growth, tissue repair, and immune response. In fact, errors in communication can result in diseases like diabetes, autoimmune problems, and cancer. What they've struggled to understand, though, is really how signaling molecules target each component of a cell, telling it to do different things. See, it was often thought that the signals that tell various organs what to do within a cell spread freely throughout the body of the cell, and scientists thought that the specific frequency of the waves was the important part of the message. Different frequencies were then thought to correspond with different instructions for cell behavior. That's what makes this new study, published in May 2019 in the journal Nature, so crazy. Researchers at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland turned this idea completely on its head. Scientists there first dissected male rats and used various types of fluorescent dye to track cell signaling molecules. There are several different types of these molecules, but what you need to know is that the scientists focused on calcium ions. They then processed these images using computing techniques similar to those used for the first picture of a black hole. After processing all of the images, they discovered something startling. They found a cell-wide web made of organic nanotubes that transmit these signaling molecules across all cells. Calcium binding proteins, they found, operate as switches moving from the on or off position in the network that coordinate how the different nanotubes operate. The network is also very complex. Calcium ions can instruct several different parts of a cell to activate at the same time. For example, they can tell muscle cells to relax and also to create special proteins that are needed for movement. Just to cut through some of the scientific jargon, it turns out that the way cells communicate might be very mechanical in nature. Cells are actually, quote, wired like computer chips. The way calcium signals in particular flow throughout cells is very similar to the phenomenon of quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling, without getting too far into the details, is necessary for tech like flash memory storage to function. It's a phenomenon that pops up across the scientific world from nuclear fusion in the sun to radioactive decay. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot to take in. Given just how widespread quantum phenomena are though, it sort of makes intuitive sense that it can help explain how cells in the body function too. Looking again at the study, 
researchers found something else they deemed even more interesting. The nanotube networks can rapidly evolve, rewiring themselves to change cell behavior in mass. Researchers looked at cells that transferred from a steady state to a growth state, and they saw that the nanotubes completely reconfigured themselves to transmit the new signals that switched on genes expressing growth. So, unlike man-made CPUs, this cell-wide web elects to reconfigure itself depending on the situation. Scientists already knew that the building blocks of life communicated with one another to achieve larger tasks. But what they didn't realize is that they're wired together, really like computer chips, to a larger network that can self-evolve. This could be some of the first evidence that we and other life on Earth were intelligently designed. Or it could simply reveal that the nature of evolution has more in common with modern technology than we ever thought. The research makes no philosophical conclusions. It does, however, open up the door for potentially new treatment methods for things like cancer, diabetes, and certain autoimmune disorders. For more information, including unique images of this cell-wide web, check out the video description. Subscribe if you want to keep up with similarly mind-blowing scientific studies. We're going to simplify several each week on this channel moving forward.